Canceling cartoons, but not the pornographic Grammys. How much more filth, disguised as entertainment, has to be displayed before people revolt over the onslaught of blatant, in-your-face, offensive so-called art forms? Are Hollywood and the music industry immune from any censorship whatsoever of the most repulsive, vile content? Author of Blackout, Candace Owens, believes America cannot survive this immorality. We cannot be sustained under these hyper-sexualized leftist values. According to the Gateway Pundit, the Grammy Awards show on Sunday was a white-hating, police-bashing, woke fest laced with vulgar, pornographic performances by scantily clad female rappers. Our culture is being corroded on our watch. Where's the outcry from concerned citizens and parents? I'm David Fiorazzo, and this is Christ and Culture. Too many Americans have forgotten how to blush. There's something wrong when children's books, cartoons, and food products are banned or canceled, but nudity, profanity, and pornography are not. The good news is the 63rd Grammy Awards show suffered one of its lowest ratings in history, down 50% from last year, and last year was low. The other news is 8 million people still watched the Celebration of Godlessness Sunday. So how many viewers out of those do you think were teenagers? How many do you think were young children? I cannot even mention Cardi B's song titles, let alone her profane, sex-driven lyrics. And by the way, who decides what art is? Anyway, this is not art or poetry set to music. It's soft porn or rap porn. But according to the malignant media and liberal feminists, Cardi B's vulgar performance at the Grammys was sex positive and all about female sexual empowerment. Tucker Carlson declared that the left, the powers that control programming, are intentionally degrading our culture. His guest on Monday was Candace Owens, who said these kinds of demoralizing displays that portray women as sex objects are keeping young women down in our society. Listen to what she said about cancel culture. Dr. Seuss, gone. Mr. Potato Head, problematic, not enough genders available. We've seen going through the supermarket as a traumatizing experience. We lost Aunt Jemima last year. We lost Land Lakes Butter last year. We lost Uncle Ben and his rice last year because everything is so traumatizing uh, for children to look at. But this, this spectacle, uh, virtually what we were looking at last night was a lesbian sex scene being simulated on television. And this is considered feminist. It's iconic. It's forward. It's progressive. It's the way the world's going, Tucker. And if you don't see that, it's because you're a bigot. You don't understand. This is the way the world needs to go. I 100% agree with you in the assessment that this feels more sinister. This is starting to me to seem like it's not even left or right. It's not a political issue. This seems like an attack on American values, American traditions, and you're actually actively trying to make children aspire to things that are grotesque. This is not about diversity anymore, Tucker. It's about perversity. No. We are celebrating perversity in America. What do you think this does to young girls and young boys watching this stuff? She's right. It seems perverse and sinister because this is demonic. Forces of darkness in high places are driving this decay of our culture. God's judgment is coming, friends. Celebrity elites think they are their own gods, but they're in for a rude awakening. Scripture warns about those who are wise in their own eyes. And in Isaiah 5.20, it says this, Woe to those who call evil good, and who call good evil, who substitute darkness for light, and light for darkness. So imagine young children watching as disgusting rappers Cardi B and Megan the Stallion twerked on stripper poles and rolled around on a giant bed in prime time. Nice. But no one is canceling depraved music or perversion. Do you know what they are canceling? Amazon removed the documentary, Created Equal, Clarence Thomas in his own words. And they did it during Black History Month. The film was one of the top streaming documentaries about a prominent black conservative, Clarence Thomas. But an X-rated song by an ex-stripper who, according to reports, used to drug men and steal from them. That's promoted, right? 
What's wrong with this picture? So back to Sunday's 2021 Grammy Awards. Beyonce won for a song called Black Parade. While accepting the award, she said she wanted to celebrate all the beautiful black queens and kings that continue to inspire the whole world. A performer known as H.E.R. won a Grammy for her George Floyd-inspired song, I Can't Breathe. Referring to last summer's riots across the country, she mentioned that fight we had as buildings burned, stores were looted, cops assaulted, people lost businesses, and others were killed. She openly encouraged the violence during her Grammy acceptance speech. Talk about things being upside down. Now, you might be saying, well, this doesn't affect me and my family. Uh, you didn't watch the Grammys, right? You did, but, and you don't approve of Antifa, BLM, and violence for any cause. But this problem is coming knocking on your door. It's, it's this corrupt culture that's been justifying and pushing these things, influencing public opinion, and it'll get to your kids. I was reading the Gospel of Matthew this morning, and Jesus warned about those who lead others to stumble. He said, whoever receives one such child in my name receives me, but whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it is better for him or her <laughs> that a heavy millstone be hung around his neck and that he be drowned in the depths of the sea. Woe to the world because of its stumbling blocks. Now, Christians must stop accepting or justifying sin. We are to avoid conforming to the world, and this includes so-called entertainment. One way the left deceives our society is they commandeer language. They remove any fixed absolutes and moral restraints. Then they anoint themselves as authorities to manipulate and steer the culture. Consider the new meanings they have given to words like diversity, equality, empowering, inclusion, and tolerance. Evil is celebrated, and we now live in a culture where anything goes, such as soft rap porn on primetime TV, or effeminate men in dresses and makeup performing drag queen story hour for children. And these kids are told to avoid exposure to things like George Washington, Clarence Thomas, Donald Trump, Gina Carano, Mike Lindell, Dr. Seuss and Dumbo, but not Cardi B. Let that sink in. God bless you and keep speaking the truth about things that matter. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Most of you know our show is being censored by big tech. While this makes it harder to meet the cost of producing the show, that's part of it. It also demonstrates that we must be having tremendous success or they wouldn't bother to try to shut us down. If you like hearing truth and common sense with a love for freedom, please join the Patriot Club with a one-time $99 tax-deductible donation. And you'll get this sweet vessel of joy as part of a thank you for joining the Patriot Club. Etched with the American flag and the words freedom never tasted so good. All you have to do is visit patriotclub.us and become a Patriot member today. That's patriotclub.us. Thank you and God bless.